Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 10 but we are not going to use pictures and we're not going to use the number line. We're simply going to use the counting method. So let's have a look at the question we're going to work through. Now suppose you have these three numbers. We've got 7, 4, and 8. We've got 7, 4, and 8. Now the question is, you have to put these numbers in order starting with the smallest number. So let's write the answer down here. We're going to create some boxes where we're going to write the answers down. Now you'll see this very often in workbooks and at school as well. So we've got three boxes. We're going to write the smallest number over here. Now what we're going to do is we're simply going to we're not going to use pictures, we're not going to use the number line, we are simply going to count. Now you can do this just using mental arithmetic. I am going to write the numbers down over here as we count them just for illustration. So we're starting at number 0. So let's begin counting. 1 can you see number one in any of the three numbers over here? No, we can't. We keep going until you see the first number. That will be our smallest number. So zero, one, two, three, four. We can see number four. There it is. That becomes our first number. That is the smallest number. So we've done number four. We're now going to carry on counting from number 4 until we see one of these other two numbers. So 4, 5, 6, 7. Can you see number 7? There it is. That becomes our next number. We carry on counting from 7 and we come to 8. And that is our last number. So we have rewritten these three numbers in order starting with the smallest number first. The smallest number is 4, then it's 7, and then it's 8. Now you're probably wondering why do I have to write all these numbers down when I'm doing this? Well quite often you won't just have three numbers over here. What you will have sometimes is four numbers, five numbers, maybe even more. And it can get a little confusing. So it's a lot easier just to write these numbers down, or better still, just count them in your head. Right, we're going to work through one more example. But this one has got a slight twist to it. So let's do this. Suppose you have these three numbers. We've got 6, 9, and 7. We've got numbers 6, 9 and 7. Now what the task this time is, we're not going to write them down in order from the smallest number, we're going to do it in reverse. We're going to write the largest number down and then, well the largest number down to the smallest number. So this one I'm just going to draw the boxes in. So we're going to write our answers in these. And we're just going to write down here largest to smallest. That's just as a reminder to us that we are doing this and something that you can have a look at as well. The first one we did was we did the smallest number. So we did the smallest to largest. But in this case, we're doing the largest to the smallest number. Now, one way to do this is we simply count upwards, as we did in example 1, and we write the number over here. We can either count from 10 backwards, or we can count from 0 going up. What we're going to do is we're going to count from 10 backwards. Okay, so let's do this. So we've got number 10 over here and we're going to count backwards every time we see a number 
that is displayed over here we're going to add it in but we're going to add it in on the left hand side as we did above okay so we've got 10 what number comes before 10 it is 9 there's 9 that's the first number so we're going to write it down over here so that is our first number 9 again we're going to carry on from number 9 we're going to count backwards 9 8 7 what well, we can see 7 there it is so that becomes our next number and what what comes before 7 it is 6 and the 6 is over here and there we go we have rearranged these three numbers and we have put them in order with the largest number first